<laughs> well, I, I... It's Steve and Laura time. Let's go. <laughs> I arranged for you to meet to Johnny Hill. Uh -huh. And not only that, I got to serenade you. Yeah, came through, came and through. I think you owe me a kiss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> let's pay up, Laura. Let's pay up time. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ugh. A deal is a deal. Uh, Laura, I couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> right, right. Laura's such a good sport. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> oh, gosh. Laura, Laura, you know, you know this boy got a routine to get ready. He got a routine to get ready when he's when he's receiving Laura kisses. He got to get ready. Look at him. Look at him. You got to get ready. <laughs> this is no ordinary kiss, Laura. This is no ordinary kiss for him, huh? Yeah, you got to get ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh goodness. Wow, it's so good. Look, Laura was ready. Laura was ready and able. Steve, Steve just left her there. <laughs> Steve, I like your self-control there, buddy. I like your self-control, but he just left her there. Look, he just left her. <laughs> he I just, can't go through with it. He can't go through with it. She got to come around the corner. She got to come around the corner. Look. <laughs> I'm supposed to say that. Right. The roles are reversed. <laughs> I'll point this out real quick for everybody that says it is an obsession. He's obsessed with her. No, he's not. This this proves love right here, right? Just like the Bible says, love is patient. You know what I'm saying? But this proves that if it was an obsession, he would have took that, you know what I'm saying, and made it count, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't because, you know, he loves Laura. He's not, a, a, it's not an obsession. Obsessions, obsessions make you do obsessive things, not love. You can't, love and obsession don't mix together. You're either obsessed or you, or you love. You know, and I think people get mixed up with Steve thinking that it's obsession because he's young. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is some man stuff right here. I mean, she Lord willing and able right here. And he actually turns away like she's right there and he turns away. So to me, there's nothing else that proves it more than this. That Steve, that the, the, what he feels for Laura is love, that he's just not willing to take advantage of her at any given moment and he's not willing to act on impulse Laura, <laughs> i feel like i'm forcing you to kiss me mm. like it's some sort of a business arrangement mm. well that's precisely what it is right it really is it really is oh that cheapens it oh, oh Laura, i want you to kiss me but it has to be voluntary mm. okay i'll just wait for that wonderful moment when you want to kiss me mm. see steve Patience is a virtue, buddy. Patience is a virtue. That's all I'm going to leave you with. Uh -huh. Good night, Laura. Oh, that's sweet, though. That's so sweet. Yeah? Oh. What you did for me tonight was really special. It really was. Lord, don't make me cry, girl. It meant a lot to me. Mm-hmm. And I know that baseball card meant a lot to you. Mm-hmm. The truth is, you deserve a kiss. Oh, she said you deserve You, you want to kiss me? I didn't say that. Uh <laughs> Lord, let him have his moment, girl. Come on now. <laughs> I said deserve, not want. She said deserve, not <laughs> Get this. Wow. I'll tell you, this girl wow. pressed me up. I'll take it. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I just want to say something real quick. I know. I just, want, I just want to say something. You have to think about the fact that Steve, Steve's, remember, he said he gave Laura an out. And Laura basically says, you deserve a kiss. What Steve is understanding is there that there is a small line between wanting and willing, right? And the reality of it is Laura is willing to kiss him right now. And, you know, it makes me wonder if if when Laura and Steve had to kiss during the play, if she realized during that time, because remember, Steve was on his whoa mama then, you know, but if Laura realized at that time that, you know, it, it's really not that bad, you know, you, you know, and and maybe possibly like I've been saying before that she felt something the Lord keeps everything close to the vest, so you're not going to know. But it's just something to think about. Oh, gosh, Steve. Oh, gosh, Steve. We understand. We understand, Steve. We understand. Calm down. We understand. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Steve. Steve, you make... <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love Laura that you were, Laura was such a good sport about it. But Steve passed out. Steve, you passed out, you miss out. <laughs> What's up? Back out with another video. Laura and Steve style. And I think, man, this this is just, uh, how do I say? This is an example of 
you know, Steve and Laura putting each other first. And I don't think people see that. You know, Steve, you see right here, you know, um, had the opportunity, right? Because he came, you know, through on the bed and everything. And he had the opportunity to get a little smoochy smooch, you know, from Laura. And he was, you, uh, he's right there. You know what I'm saying? But he he ended up turning away, you know, and what what is he doing? He He's reminding Laura what her value is. You know, as he said that, I don't, you know what, I, I don't really want to do it that way. And again, Steve's always, always communicating Laura's value to, um, um, you know, her value. But also what he's doing, he's putting her first, right? This is Steve and Laura. Like we know how much this boy is in love with her. And really, let's keep it real, how attracted he is to her, right? And it's right there. And he turns away. That is him putting her first. And then what do you see with Laura? Laura realizing like, okay, he did come through on the bed. I did not think he was going to come through the way he did, but he did. Let me keep my word. Steve even gives her like an out. Hey, you don't have to do it. And she is willing to do it anyway. And that is her putting him first. And I just, I wonder if people see that, that they do this on a consistent basis where they actually are putting each other first. They're sacrificing for each other. This was a sacrifice for Steve to turn away. And it was a sacrifice for Laura to, you know, to say that she was willing to go through with it, even though Steve gave her an out and then gave her another out because the boy just passed out. Because, but that, that is evidence of his attraction to her and his love for her that it makes him, it gets him almost weak, right? And so that I just want people to see that, 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 the, the, the sacrifice and putting each other first, you know, um, that Steve and Laura do on a consistent basis that is completely overlooked, you know, and, and just sweet. It's just, it's just such sweet moments, um, between the, these two. So uh, it's just something I just want to point out, you know, that, you know, we already saw Steve's, you know, again, you look at it right here, the, the self control, right? And Steve has that self con control for Laura because he loves her. You know what I'm saying? And, and so it's just, and, and I think Laura wanted to keep her word because of what she said to Steve. Like, I realized this was a sacrifice for you and I said I would do it. And so I just want people to see that they, they are always willing to kind of put each other first and they do it consistently. This is love, guys. This is love. Okay. Straight up. Love God. Love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.